Voila, Jipun Lan Lai Liao. So the big question is, am I breaking the law right now? あの今ねあの3日ぶりに外出したわけでしょ。Because I need, I need some、uh, I need some air. I need to get some exercise. Heck, even even the turtles are outside. So yeah, I just came out to this beautiful park, and I have one big question. Basically,、uh, we are okay to、uh, go go outside,、uh, do some walking, do some jogging in Singapore right now. But, あの一つね疑問があるんですよ。あのジョギングジョギングあるじゃないですか。So it's legal to do jogging without a mask. You don't need to wear this when you're jogging. However, when you're like kind of resting like this now, do I need to wear a mask? こんなこと心配するなよって<笑>思うかもしれませんが、uh, Singapore is very serious about abiding to the rules,、uh, not breaking laws. So, だからなんか僕の場合は一応ジョギングしてるけど、あのマスクつけてますね、大体。うん。And another, another one.、Um, is it okay to like kind of walk and drink tea or eat something? 食べ歩きしていいのか。これもね大きな今僕の疑問でして。あの一応こ怖いからやらない。<笑>本当ね、容赦ないんですよ、シンガポール、マジで。By the way,、uh, if you go outside and you walk around without a mask,、uh, you, you can get fined、uh, 300 Singapore dollars. Wow, it really feels amazing to be surrounded by, by greens. すごく気持ちいい。久しぶりに外出たからね。It just feels amazing. 鳥の声。心地よい風。Oh my gosh. なんか、今までずっと牢屋にいたのが、こうやって解放されて、シャバの空気を吸ってるっていう。<笑>そんな気持ちですね、本当に。I feel like I hear more birds now. なんか野生の動物が、戻ってきた感じがするなんかマリナベイサンスとかでもあのカワウソがねもっと無効撃されたりシンガポールでもその人間が活動を自粛するとあの野生に戻ってくるみたいですねなんかベネチアの街もあの水がすごい綺麗になったと聞きましただからまあコロナは悪いことばかりですが、基本的には。動物にとっては良かったのかもしれないですね。うん。そう。そんなに虫。Maybe more mosquitoes. Gosh, they're killing me. So I think it's like two, four months since、uh, Singapore went semi lockdown. And oh, wow. こんなに野外で撮影するのはかなり久しぶりですね。まあ、あの普通にエクササイズっていうが目的で来てるんで、あの決して撮影が目的じゃないですよ。The situation in Singapore is getting better. The local transmissions are down to like five to ten cases every day, excluding the foreign foreign workers. So it's getting better. However, this lockdown thing. It's gonna continue for a while. サーキットブレーカーって言われるセミロックダウンは一応6月1日で終了するんですが、ああ、そう思います。そう思います。ヒーローズ。あの、一応終了するんですが、結局終了しても自由に外行けない感じ。学校は再開されるけど、えー、飲食店をテイクアウトのみ、えー、外出はマスク必須、仕事は基本テレワーク、運動と、買い物以外は家にいなさいっていうスタンスです。たまにそのタイとか台湾とか、まあ、徐々に経済を再開させて、もう今、外に行けるような状態になっている国のことを思うと、ちょっとなんか、まあ、ジェラシーというか、でもシンガポールはそうはいかないですね。いつまた自由に外出れるのかは、全く見通しがついてない状態です。Okay, finish showering. 
And um, I, I noticed that um, a lot of people still do not know what you can do and what you cannot do in this period of Singapore. One thing I noticed is that uh, still so many people uh, are, are kind of gathering with, with your friends or someone. I'm not sure if they know this, but uh, you are not really supposed to do that. If you do not know this, last time a Singaporean met her boyfriend outside and she got fined actually. You can get fined up to 10,000 Singapore dollars or six months of jail. So you should not do that. Don't, don't do that. However, you can start receiving up to two guests from your immediate family each day, but still not your friends. And I think the rest, everybody is doing well. Um, you must wear a mask when you go outside. さっきあの森の方に行った時にお金の国がもう解除されてて羨ましいですって言いましたが、まあなんかでもしょうがないなと思います。うん。まあやっぱ第二波っていうのがすごくシンガポールは恐れているんだなと思います。だからこそ。えっと、未だにね、もう外出とか推奨されてないし、あの、テレワークだし、本当にすごい、すごいなって思います。すごく慎重。まあ、しょうがないですね。We <笑> Japanese people like to use this word. しょうがない can be helped. And I think like Singapore is doing a great job in dealing with this whole situation. But yeah, let's try to stay positive. いずれ外に出れる日ってのは来るんで、まあ、辛抱強く Drinking this because you need some protein after after your workout or jogging. By the way, this is not an ad, but I like this. Very good. Delicious protein shake. 25 grams of protein. You can find them on crazybatman.com. あの、この動画もう終わらせることできますが、ちょっと気まぐれでまあ今僕は考えていることとかなんかシェアできたらなと思います。あんまりやってこなかったからね。And yeah, so I think I'll first talk about uh, what you can expect from me. I will keep on filming at home. So today's vlog was kind of like a, a rare, unusual vlog. Yeah. So please give me some ideas. I'm, I'm kind of running out of <laughs> ideas. Um, well, never mind. I, I want to say I'm running out of ideas, but at the same time, I don't have like a, a great idea. Because my initial mission and, and plan of this channel was to show the, the unbeaten path of Singapore, show the non-touristy part of Singapore, show the culture, show the people. But yeah, it's a bit difficult when you're in the circuit breaker. So please give me ideas. <laughs> and I'm now working on my merch. Yes, so this is actually designed by me. So I just listed all the food um, I love around the world. <laughs> and I have some, uh, I'm working with this uh, designer and um, we're working on like uh, two or three new t-shirts. So that's coming. I will keep you updated in this channel. And thank you all for leaving a lot of comments on my previous video. Uh, it had 233 comments. Uh, it's a video I made about uh, myself watching Singapore YouTubers. And yeah, um, I never knew uh, like, um, for example, Smart Local and like Eat Book had a YouTube channel. Well, I think I will take a look after after filming filming this video. Although I respect the, the big channels in Singapore, um, I can promise you that I won't become like them. But at the same time, there are a lot of inspirations I can get from them. It's always been like that. In fact, most YouTubers, you know, we're not taught how to film, how to edit. So you, you just kind of find a role model and you just copy them. And the YouTubers I copied are uh, Mark Weens, Frickly Dumpling. だから今後もどんよくに他のYouTuberさんからあの知識を吸収させていただこうかなと思っています。ま、今日はそんなそんな感じですね。ちょっとあの最後はなんか関係ない動画になっちゃいましたが、あのもしもっとこういう動画見た
扫描。